So first impression, just looking at these side by sides, I'm uh, going to say the right side is looking a little bit stronger here, but we'll pull out the uh, individual plants and kind of take a look and see how they all work. Already I've got the AB Connoisseur all mixed up and I just followed the instructions on the back of the bottle which uh, puts a total of uh, 24 mLs of each solution into my pail and uh, we'll measure up the ppm and the ph and we'll see where that's at. Alright and 3 mL of ph up and it looks like we are right in the range where we want to be. Alright the general hydroponics is all mixed up as well. To uh, do the mixing of that solution I just followed the mild vegetative growth on the back of the bottle and that was a 5 ml per gallon. So a total of 15 ml of each solution went in here for a total of 45 mls. We'll uh, measure the ppm now and the pH and see where that's at. And by adding the same amount of pH up in this solution puts the pH right in range as well. Alright, as you can see the cups and the pots are all set, they're ready to go. The only thing left to do here now is plant the seeds and uh, turn on the pumps. For seeds this time around I'm going to go with peas, alfalfa and the trusty old daikon radishes. I'm also going to as usual set up the camera so we can get a time lapse of the whole grow as it happens. Alright, so first up here we got the alfalfa and I've got the two of them side by side and I think we got a pretty clear and obvious winner on this one on the right hand side. These air roots on here are really really nice. This is a pretty clear winner. So right side, 
No contest on this one. All right, so before we go further, hopefully you guys can see, oh yeah, there we go, the roots inside the pail. There is one heck of a secure mat. That's the left side. And there's the right side as well. So there's definitely going to be some damage on these plants when I'm pulling them out. As you can see, they have uh, gotten pretty established and comfortable. All right, so for the next two, I'm going to have to compare these guys side by side, just because the amount of roots that were tangled up there, as you've seen earlier, they came out in a cluster and definitely got ripped in the removal of the pails. So this is the left side for the peas, and we've also got the daikon radishes. First thing that strikes me right out of the gate is this massive root coming out of the left-hand side here, and you can kind of see on the top there as well. There's a pretty big daikon going on in there. Over to the right side, we've got the peas here, and we've also got the daikon radishes as well. I did manage to get these out in much better condition, so the roots did stay intact. There's kind of the overview between the two. So overall, I think they're pretty even, with the exception of uh, this, the roots growing out of the bottom of the left side here. Uh, that are pretty dominant and not so much fruiting going on with the daikons on that side. For the peas, I think the winner is definitely on the left side here. It's definitely got more uh, green growth than the right hand side. Uh, <laughs> the struggle is real in the grow room today. Got this, uh... <laughs> it's supposed to be a stabilizer. I'm not gonna lie, it's pissing me off. This thing is doing all kinds of wonky stuff. I've rebalanced it a bunch of times. I can't get it set. So if the video is a little shaky today, my apologies. Actually, apologies to the company that made this. And I will pull, I will do my best to get this thing out of here, but uh, as you can see, she is pretty dang stuck. So there's probably going to be some more root breaking on the left hand side here. But judging by the comparison between the left and the right for the roots on the daikon, uh, I'm going to give this side to the left as well. So my personal opinion is the left side did better grow uh, overall than the right with the exception of the alfalfa. That was a clear winner for the AB connoisseur. Now that the perlite is separated, now that the perlite is separated, the left and right sides here, not as big of a difference as I thought initially. This has uh, definitely got more girth than this one does. As far as these two, they're pretty close. I don't know, that one's too close to call. I think uh, overall this one's got a little bit more mass. It's definitely a heck of a lot longer, but uh, I don't know, what do you like, length or girth? While I've got the pail set off beside me here, I will also take the pH and PPM measurements just to kind of see what we're left with inside of the pails. Uh, both of them uh, just about drank everything out of that pail or out of the pails. There's not much nutrient solution left back in there. So this test probably ran a little bit longer than maybe I should have let it run. All right, so let's measure the PPM on the left. Two hundred and thirty-three. Well, stuff was definitely eating good in there. And even more nutrient uptake in the right-hand side with a one... 198. pH on the left side is looking pretty good. I'd say it's maybe a little bit on the higher side, somewhere between 6 and 6.5. The pH in the right hand side looks to be a little bit more stable. That actually looks like it's right on the 6.0, so that's really good. So for those of you wondering where those greens go, I'm going to put them outside and we've had quite a bit of deer activity here lately, so uh, I'll report back to see if the deer actually pick this stuff up and eat.
All right, so in case you guys hadn't already figured out which the uh, the sides were, the uh, right side was the AB Connoisseur and the left side was just the uh, normal nutrients. I think it was General Hydroponics. Can't remember, that's a long time ago since I filmed the start of this video, but uh, uh, as you guys just watched it, you'll know what I used in the left. Pretty sure it was just the General Hydroponics. So General Hydroponics versus AB Connoisseur. Pretty consistent results on each, but uh, definitely not worth the money in my opinion for the AB Connoisseur. Great grow results on uh, the greens for the alfalfa. So it has promised for some plants and maybe other plants grow great with this stuff, but for my test here, I didn't see the results today. So depending on what you're growing there, you might be better off with the AB Connoisseur. Uh, there was definitely more nutrient uptake and a more stable pH than the uh, left-hand side. So maybe for some crops, it's a winner. It definitely was for the alfalfa. It actually beat the tar out of the uh, left-hand side. So this one might be more of a targeted nutrient than just a broad overall general use. You guys be the judge. You've seen all the footage. Let me know what you think. Next experiment that's going to be coming up here, I'm going to be doing Coco Coir versus Perlite. And that video will show up on either side here as soon as that is done and edited.